For Oxford United and their enthusiastic followers, it's soon clear that they're in for a frustrating night. Striker Billy Hamilton has locked a knee in the pre-match warm-up. An Oxford start with ten men until his somewhat laboured arrival early in the half. Obviously, he's struggling, and within three minutes, he limps off with Mark Jones coming on as substitute. I wonder what Manchester United's manager, Ron Atkinson, makes of it all, doing his stint as a radio summariser. Even without the aggressive Hamilton, Oxford dominate the first half an hour, and it's Jones who has the first clear opportunity. An intelligent build-up with Brian McDermott making a lively first home appearance, providing the final cross. Blackburn improve as the half wears on, but three minutes from the interval, they're lucky to survive. More imaginative approach work from Bobby McDonald sets up John Aldridge, but Oxford's leading goal scorer is denied by Geno's positioning. A let-off for Blackburn that proves so costly for Oxford. In injury time, the controversial goal that settles the tie. The referee appears to be on the verge of blowing for a foul as Ian Miller's cross finds its way to Jimmy Quinn and his header gives Blackburn the lead, despite heated Oxford protests, particularly from goalkeeper Steve Hardwick, who's later booked for pursuing his argument too far. The second half is again mainly Oxford pressure. Impressive build-up here involving McDermott, Geno's quick reaction thwarts Aldridge again. 20 minutes into the second half comes the best chance of all. Glenn Keeley, the victim of a bad bounce, handles McDermott's cross, an obvious penalty. Bobby McDonald seems to strike it well enough, but Geno outsmarts him for a splendid save. It proves to be Oxford's last real opportunity. It's Blackburn who go through for that lucrative home tie with Manchester United, with relief perhaps for Ron Atkinson. Love